What's the secret in building confidence? Well, here's the funny thing. Most people, and when I say most people, I mean most people, they lack confidence, although they have a false confidence about them that basically is easy to see through if you understand really what confidence is. Now, a lot of people ask me, why am I so confident? Well, guess what? First of all, I'm not that confident. I'm more confident than most, but again, everybody's got fear. We've all got some sort of insecurity. So if anybody thinks that they're just 100% confident, they're probably lying to you. But there are ways to increase your confidence. Why are you wanting more confidence? The answer, if you just start looking at back, see everything when you start learning things breaks down to simplicity. If you put logic into most things, you'll find the solution to most things. Too many people miss common sense and logic when a lot of it's just logic. Like for example, the question is, is how to build confidence? Okay, so let's break down how to build confidence. First of all, what is confidence? You have to understand what confidence is and what do you believe confidence is? Because sometimes people get me confused with cocky <laughs> or arrogant when I am none of those things, but I am confident in, in a lot of things. And here's how I built up the confidence. The first thing I realized is I was worried about what this person thought or what that person thought. So sometimes I'd go out and buy things I probably shouldn't have purchased just because I was worried that when I showed up here, I wouldn't be accepted, et cetera, et cetera. So at the end of the day, I wanted to fit in. I wanted people to judge me fairly and and based on some sort of visual appearance in addition to my personality. So once I realized, okay, so I'm just basically fearing judgment. I completely fear judgment. That's the first thing we have to solve. If you fear judgment, you have to wonder why. Well, because you don't, you don't really like yourself. Now, most people think, well, I like myself fine, but now I'm talking about stuff you're not even aware of. You're aware that we have a subconscious mind and we've got a conscious mind. And there's filters in between. But at the end of the day, the conscious mind can manifest reality. At least I believe. It can manifest reality. And what's the problem is the things recording 24-7. You can't shut it off because it's subconscious. You're not even aware of it. Or most people aren't aware of it. There are some people that can tap into that subconscious. And that, my friend, is a magical power. However, how do we get confidence? How do we build confidence? Well, again, we're breaking it down to the simplicity of it all. Confidence is the fear of judgment. You don't like yourself, which is why you're not confident. If you were really, really good at something, you get confident at that thing. You're very confident you can beat me at chess. You're very confident that, that your product will help me. Your confidence shows. More confidence is desirable. Like the more confident people in this world get more things than the less confident people. I'm telling you right now, that's a fact. So it's not the arrogant people and it's not the cocky people, it's the confident people. So what is confidence? Confidence is the lack of an opinion of yourself. You don't value yourself enough, that's the problem. So how do you build confidence? I would say number one, you value yourself, okay? Value yourself, people. How many people don't value themselves? Okay, and I'm not talking about consciously, I'm talking about subconsciously, because if you think about it, if you had a friend that lied to you, if you had a friend that got you in trouble, if you had a friend that literally harmed you many, many times, a lot of times they harmed you, would you still be their friend or would you eliminate them out of your life? Well, of course you would eliminate them immediately, but at the end of the day, what if it's you? What if subconsciously you're the one letting yourself down? You're the one procrastinating. You're the one getting yourself in trouble by running your mouth. You're the one getting yourself in trouble by not seeking the right information. So you're spending too much time and money trying to accomplish something someone else could just tell you how to do. Why? Because your belief system's wrong, but that's a whole nother module. This module is how do you build confidence? You gotta value yourself. Why don't you value yourself? That's the question. Why don't you? Well, you must not believe in yourself. You must not have had any wins or experiences and, and successes in the past. Well, what's that tell you? That tells you somebody told you, oh, you're never gonna to amount to anything or da 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 da, and now it's inside your subconscious. So literally your subconscious mind says, you lie all the time. You freaking let me down a thousand times. You're, you, you've lied to other people. I just can't trust you and I don't like you. So when you think, to yourself, hey, do I deserve more? Your answer is no. Why? Because your subconscious mind's really doing the answering for you. Your conscious mind's thinking, hey, I can't figure out what's going wrong here. Well, what's going wrong here is you don't like yourself and you don't like yourself because deep down, you've lied to yourself for years. So how do you fix that? Let me tell you how you fix that right here. Here's how you fix it, folks. And then I got to go. Here's how you fix it. Look, number one, just like a friend, you would have to forgive yourself, okay? If I was your buddy and I did that to you and I wanted to get back in good graces with you, I would apologize, right? Well, we need to apologize to ourselves. That's the first thing. Apologize to ourselves and forgive ourselves. Don't be an idiot 
and hold a grudge against yourself. Okay? When you ask yourself for forgiveness, go ahead and say yes. Now, once you've forgiven yourself, next thing you need to do is do what you say you will. No matter what. No matter what. Okay? If you don't do this, it's not going to work. You need to, from that point forward, do what you say you're going to do. If you say you're going to get up in the, in the morning early and hit the gym, by God, get up in the morning and hit the gym. Don't lie to yourself. Don't let yourself down. You just asked for forgiveness. What if that friend came in, asked for forgiveness, you forgave him, he just started doing the same things. Guess what you would do? You would eliminate him again, but this time you might eliminate him for life. Don't eliminate yourself for life. Forgive yourself. And then the most important thing, do what you say you're going to do. Then number three, I want you to set some small goals if you have to, or big ones. It doesn't matter. Small ones are quicker to get. And what we're trying to get your confidence up is a bunch of wins. If you can just get a bunch of wins, your, your subconscious doesn't know the difference between a small win and a big win. Hey, I, I said, I'm going to get up at 430. I woke up at 430. Win. Hey, I said, I was going to go to the gym. Win. I said, I was going to eat right. Win. Okay. You start keeping your word to yourself and you set small goals real quick. So you get a bunch of wins. Once you start getting a bunch of wins, man, you're going to stand up a little taller and you're going to start to realize. Hey, I deserve a little more than I'm getting. Guess what? You're going to do a little more than you've been doing. Then you're going to basically start saying, Hey, I, re I deserve more respect than I've been getting, including from myself. And all of a sudden you're going to be like, you do, you do deserve it. And all of a sudden you'll be starting to think, hell, I deserve more. And when you think you deserve more, you're naturally going to attract and recognize opportunity to get more. It just works that way. So you want to set small goals and collect some wins. Look, I could go on all day about this. In fact, I do in one of my courses in closer school because I think you can't be good at selling and closing if you don't have confidence. I think you can get away with it, but I think if you fixed your confidence issues, especially when you're in sales, you'll just double and triple your income. Keep watching these or go check out what closer school is. Thanks for your time.